What's up guys, Sam here, and today we're doing a uh, wishlist for NBA 2K14. I know a lot of people have done this, but I just thought that I'd finally get to it because, you know, it's pretty obvious that there are some things wrong with 2K13 that need to be changed in the next title. First of all, I would like blockable dunks. That is probably my biggest concern because most of, most people have gotten maybe one or two block dunks in their career and that was surely because of luck and the fact that the ball rattled around in the rim while dunking because the person probably didn't have too high of a dunk to begin with. The next thing I want is fixed three-pointers. The three-pointers in NBA 2K13, if your three-point ability is over a 90, let's say, if they leave you open, most of the time you're going to make it. Most of the time is quite the understatement to be honest uh and i would like some nerfing on lebron because lebron in 2k13 is quite powerful to say the least but he's probably gonna be even worse in 2k14 since he got the cover and about the cover i it's horrible i i i don't have much to say about it it <sighs> it hurts my head just just to talk about it I also would like easier layups for lower overalls because I feel as if whenever you're in the rookie showcase or um, early in the season, you have a difficult time making contact layups or even layups that have a little bit of contested area in them. I mean, I don't know if that was the right word to use, but I used it, so there's no going back from now. The, I would also enjoy more realistic hairstyles because the hairstyles of 2K13 also are not very good. Also, lower cost for apparel. To, to think that you're going to spend 5,000 VC for a shirt that has no statistical boost or, in, or any, any general boost on the court for your other players is just ridiculous. Whenever you could use that 5,000 VC, it would probably up your characters overall by about 2 or 3 if you're in a lower overall. The return of crew mode is one of the, probably the second biggest because I I didn't play much crew mode in 2K11. Uh, other people did, obviously. Smooth, Nike Faller, iPod King Carter, and those channels. Um, but I really didn't play it, but... The description of what it is sounds amazing. I have no idea why they took this this part of the game out anyway. I I don't have anything to say about it or anything, so 2K, your move. Uh another thing and lastly is better servers. Better servers because right at the beginning of the game there's always gonna be those bugs that you have, you know, those those bugs where you get stuck on on objects and stuff because they poorly thought out the design of the court. But that's mostly uh, programming, not much servers. But you tend to lag out of games very easily in 2K13, to be honest. And they, um, sorry, I'm thinking of the word for this. I have, I'm drawing a huge blank right here. The games are kind of hard to find is what I'm trying to look is what I'm looking to say. The games are quite hard to find because, I don't know, 2K, they, it says about 22,000 people are online, but you barely get anybody to play with, you know, for a simple three on three, six people out of 22,000. All right, guys, that was basically my wish list. If you enjoyed the content, please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on